How you start your day 100% determines how the rest of your day is going to pan out. From Anthony Robbins to Paul Tudor Jones, who is the number one most successful hedge fund manager on the planet. All of these people at the top of their game follow a very precise early morning routine. Great morning, my extremely great champions. Hope you're all feeling massive amounts of love, fun, and appreciation. Today is such an exciting day for me because today I get to share with you my exact early morning routine that has completely changed my entire life. Ask any of my exes. I used to be such an angry, irritable person with zero self-control. But worse than that was the fact that I carried around the pain for years and years of growing up without a loving family and the only thing that transformed that into a catalyst for my incredible success and happiness and freedom now was the following early morning routine. And if you don't know who we are, I'm Ryan, this is my vlog. You guys probably recognize me the most as the lead actor from the homework scene in Mission Improbable starring Timothy Cruz. This is Kenzo, my son, the greatest champion in the world and Lalita, my wife, the best thing that's ever happened to me. And we here in Thailand, living our dream, making videos every single day. And all we want to do is help make you a happier, better, more successful version of yourself. So hit that subscribe and let's take it to the next level. Every single night that we go to sleep, we get a chance to wake up the next morning on a clean, fresh slate. But this does not happen if you wake up and immediately start thinking about the problems of the day before. If you do this, then you can expect to experience the exact same experiences of the day before. Yet, if you wake up and bask in the specific time that you've set aside every single morning to align your energy and direct your thoughts, then it's 100% possible that you could expect to experience a series of new and improved events. Thoughts, but more specifically feelings, like the way you feel about something absolutely does affect the final outcome of it. And this is proven time and time again in the rich always getting richer, poor getting poorer, and the seemingly sick always getting sicker. Similarly, friends that smoke typically attract other friends that smoke and friends at gym typically attract other friends at gym. That said, here is my exact early morning routine and it's worth mentioning that I love it so much that every single night that I drift off into deep slumber, I actually look so forward to it. Every single morning of my life, I wake up at 5 a.m. so that I've got one hour for myself and before my son wakes up, all the noises of the city begin. I then stealthily walk from my bedroom to the TV room so as not to wake my family up or allow any time whatsoever for me to fully wake up and start allowing in any outside thoughts. I then lie down in complete darkness and I take the headphones and I put them in my ear and I play the Vortex Success Trance Tracks, link in the description. I used to start every single meditation off by thanking the universe for my health and my happiness and my success and my family and then intentionally only think those specific thoughts of which I wanted to attract more of that into my life. But after doing that for about two years, I discovered Transcendental Meditation, which is pretty much the exact opposite of that. And with Transcendental Meditation, you actually start not saying, but thinking a, a, a mantra that has absolutely no meaning at all. So my specific mantra is LUM, L-U-M. And this has got absolutely no meaning to me or no significance in my life. And therefore it doesn't trigger any external thoughts. And after about 20 minutes of just lying there and focusing on your breathing and just not speaking lum and not pronouncing it, but actually thinking this mantra, eventually your mind stops, your mind starts getting tired of thinking thoughts and you get into a serene position and a, and a very serene experience of no thought. After this life-changing experience of meditating every single morning, I head on downstairs to the gym where I specifically train with very, very light weights but extremely short rest periods. And I just find that this helps provide massive amounts of energy throughout the day versus training with extremely heavy weights, um, which is what I used to do. I then come to the, you know, the edge of the pool and I stretch, uh, specifically my, my lower back and my, my upper back so I don't get uh, headaches and I feel very nimble as, I, as we all get a little bit older. And then I do something which is absolutely essential and I, I write down, I, I do journal. And I specifically journal about the five most important things in my life is, uh, you know, my wife, Lalita, my son, Kenzo, um, you know, money, um, my own, me, myself, and of course, where we stay. So I write down 10 things that I just love about Kenzo, 10 things that I love about Lalita, 10 things that I love about myself, 
10 things that I love about Bangkok, 10 things that I love about money, because I understand that where focus goes, energy flows, and whatever you focus on, that expands. I then enthusiastically scream out loud the 10 most important affirmations in my life while walking in this gorgeous Zen garden behind me. And then after that, in a very heightened state, I then head on over back to the, the computer and I write down a detailed description of my expectations and intentions of that day. And finally, I end off by reading just a single page from two books. Number one is Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. And number two is Abraham Hicks, Ask and It Is Given. And then, finally, finally, I end off back in the pool where I practice the Wim Hof, link in the description, method for prolonged breath holding, vibrancy, and health. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe below so you don't miss out on great daily videos and possibly even a little share. Thank you again. See you guys tomorrow.